This is by far the best thing to do here in northern Vietnam. So if you're an adventure seeker and aren't afraid to ride a motorbike in tough roads, then come along where you will see the beauty of the Ha Gian Loop and what to expect. So we arrived last night at Lin's homestay. This is going to be the starting point of the famous Ha Gian Loop. And we're gonna be attempting to do this one in six days and five nights. I believe so. The reason we picked this homestay is because you can literally rent the bikes here. They give you breakfast and well, when we're done, we're just gonna come back here. All right, got my helmet ready. And this, these are our babies, prepping it for the long journey. It's like black, it's like black team. Our first stop with the cops. We made it to our first stop. We're gonna rest here for 10 minutes. I'm loving the river. Oh, it's okay. It's really cool. Wow, nice. So I only know two ways that you can make this trip. You either ride a bike or you get an easy driver, which is what I did. But if you ride a bike, you have to make sure you have the proper license, which I don't, I don't exactly know which one it is, but I'll probably list it somewhere here. But if you're like me and you just want to enjoy the view, take pictures, record everything, then your best choice is an easy driver. This is uh, this is my easy driver, Dragon. There's yeah. gotta be a reason why you call Dragon, right? Yeah. Are you are you like super fast uh, driver? Yeah, very. Right. He's a man. <laughs> He's a man. There are actually three ways you can tackle this adventure. Number one, like we did. Hire an easy rider who also functions as a guide, but go at your own pace and decide some destinations. Option two, book a group tour, which includes absolutely everything, where you can either drive yourself or have the easy rider. But I've heard some people complain that they couldn't stop where they would have liked to because they needed to stay with the group and stay on schedule. And option three is just rent a motorbike by yourself and explore without a guide. Wow, we're making our way up now. The views are starting to get even better. Wow, look at this. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It's the little spot we found. So as soon as you go up, make sure you put a little bit of a hoodie or something because it's starting to get a little bit chilly. This is a wind jacket, rain, waterproof, all that stuff. So it doesn't bother me too much, but I'm sure later on it's gonna be, it's gonna get even colder. So. All right, this is our second police stop. It's gonna be easy peasy. It. 
nice. It cleared just a little bit for us to see half of it. I like how the line goes. Super cool. Let's see another spot right here. So there was a miscommunication. I thought this place was gonna be like Heaven's Cave. It turns out to be Gate. Yeah, you can hike up. There's like stairs up. You can hike up. Really? I mean, I would love to hike up, but yeah, with the view, it's not too worth it. But if the view, it's if the weather seems perfect, then you should definitely hike up. Right now. We would literally feel like we were in heaven if we were to hike up. <laughs> the buffalo is just running. Where's the other one? I guess We're he still caught behind. the second one. Oh. Because now he's looking where it's his friend. Wow. They're just running away. Look, and he's just waiting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's just waiting to see like, come on, catch, catch up. up. <laughs> it's like, catch up to me, catch up. You see? Oh my god, he's going away. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. Dumba about to see when the bot was. Huh? Turn around to see where the boss was. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he literally <laughs> wait. He literally went in boss and chase. Come on, come on, come on. Again, again, now he's running. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, that is hilarious. Oh my god, he's chasing him. Oh my god. No, he can't catch up. It's too fast. See, you wait just a little bit, and now the whole place is absolutely. Routed. That's a nice view. Wow. Two mountains. Yeah? Yeah. Next up, what to bring on the Hajan loop. Now, obviously, depending on how long you go, your list will change. But let's talk about the extraordinary items. It was essential to have rain jackets since the weather changes pretty quickly in the mountains. And check beforehand with your tour company as some give you like a plastic suit with top and bottoms and even bags for your shoes so you can stay dry. Then, pack gloves if you're the one driving because the wind and the attitude really make it chilly. Bonus tip, only wear flip-flops if you're absolutely crazy. I'll consider this break time yeah. for my legs. Stretching 10 minutes to a waterfall. I didn't think I'd be doing a little bit of hike. Wow! Nice! I was expecting like a small one. <laughs> this is a big one. Wow! <laughs> he, he literally said small one. I guess this is small for him. Wow! Look at this. I'm getting. I'm getting eaten alive right now. Wow. <laughs> Absolutely. Totally worth it. Oh my god.
So we are right now at the stop where we can see how linen is made. Linen for clothes. So it's actually from the plant where you can get flaxseed oil or linseed oil. So the uh, plant is growing on like very thin things and you can make, get the strings and you use those strings or you, to make it into strings. So they cook it, they boil it like here, they dry it and then they weave it into plants. But it's, I just realized right now that like it's from linseed oil, it's where linen comes from. Yeah, I was today this year old. I was today year old. checking for the bathroom at this uh, restaurant and look at this view oh you can feel the wind already oh my god you can take the best poop from here look at this crazy uh, best poop ever well first meal of the day well besides breakfast of course Wow, everything looks delicious. Ah, good. good stuff. Home sweet home. So check out where we're gonna be sleeping for tonight. We have a double bed it's right in the corner. Space. Did you close the window? No. Okay. You can open it if you want. Be careful with that. Yeah. This is where we're going to be sleeping. It's basically a dorm. We have plenty of beds around here. And downstairs, they have, I think, three single double beds. When I say double, I mean like big beds. But. Oh, roommates. <laughs> Nice. Oh, they also got. Look at this. I know. Got a nice view. And that, my friends, was day one. Packed with so many things and awesome memories. I can't wait for the rest of the trip. So make sure you follow for part two. See you on the next one.